Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video of wireless networking series, we are going to understand frequencies. We will talk about the channels. Channels, we will talk about the bands, right? And we will talk about the frequencies. Like we have two frequencies for wireless communication. We have many more as well, right? But for now, we are talking about these two frequencies only. 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So what is the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz? Okay, then what is channels and what are what is bands? And guys, in next video we will see the channels under 2.4 gigahertz and channels under 5 gigahertz. What are the non-overlapping channels under 2.4 gigahertz? What are the non-overlapping channels under 5 gigahertz? Okay, so this video is uh, going to teach you guys about the frequencies for wireless communication. Now without wasting our time, let's begin. Okay, so here you can see, first term is what? Bands. And guys, in last class also I told you, bands is nothing but group of frequencies. Like group of IP addresses are represented by a network ID. In the same way, group of frequencies are represented by bands. Okay, so here you can read a range of IP addresses is represented by network ID. In the same way, a group of frequencies is known as wireless band. Guys, you already know what is frequency. We discussed in last, last class, number of cycle per second, right? Number of cycle per second. Let's say we have one wave like this. Take it like this. Okay, let's say this wave is completing four cycle in one second, right? Four cycles in one second so your frequency is going to be what four height four height and if i'm saying four gigahertz it means what four multiply by 10 raised to power nine correct this is the unit so you can represent it in height also and in gigahertz also this is in gigahertz and this is height four height right so if someone is saying what is the meaning of two height frequency so guys, two hertz frequency means it is completing two cycle in one second, right? Then what is band? So range of frequency is known as band. And for wireless communication, we have two frequencies. We have more frequencies as well, right? But for now guys, I'm keep telling you again and again this point, right? For now, just keep in mind these two frequencies only, right? You have only these two frequencies for wireless communication. One, 2.4 gigahertz, another one is five gigahertz. Fine. We will talk about the more frequencies as well, right? Later, not now. Now, if we have two frequencies for wireless communication, then what is the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz? First, let me under let me tell you the difference between both frequencies, and then we will move to the channels. Okay. Now, the primary difference between the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequency bands are related to a speed interference and device capability as we discussed in last class also the major difference is you can see 2.4 gigahertz is slow right it is slow slower than 5 gigahertz right so 5 gigahertz is faster guys as compared to 2.4 gigahertz right but the the advantage of 2.4 gigahertz is what longer range you have longer range as compared to 5 gigahertz right so in 5 gigahertz you can see shorter range and then more radio interference here we have less radio interference see this first point and second point is very important for now in 2.4 gigahertz you are going to get slow less speed right slow speed but long range right let's say uh, 5 gigahertz is going to uh, provide you this range right then 2.4 gigahertz is going to provide you this range like this right so in this range you can connect any computer through your ap if your ap is working on what 2.4 gigahertz you can connect any device through your ap if your ap is working on 5 gigahertz in this domain fine okay so hope this difference is clear that 2.4 is slower than 5 gigahertz and 2.5 2.4 gigahertz is going to provide me longer range as compared to 5 gigahertz and guys if you want to check like uh, you can see my laptop is connected with one ap right airtel this one so if i want to check that my access point is working on which frequencies 
so as you know i am teaching the main the you know main work of this laptop is teaching right to teach people through this laptop i am just teaching okay so what i need i need high speed right because i have placed my ap in my room right ap is just in front of me on my wall right so i am very closer my laptop is very closer to my ap so here i don't need what longer range but understand the another scenario let's say you are putting a one ap in the company right maybe that company need to cover large area fine so then definitely you have to go with 2.4 gigahertz but as i am closer to ap i need fast speed so i will set up my ap to work on 5 gigahertz only okay so you can check it like here you can see the detail information of this ap so standard is you can see the first thing is standard on what standard my ap is working fine then network band network band is guys 5 gigahertz right so my ap is working on 5 gigahertz why because i need high speed and short range then standard on what standard is working guys 802.11 ac right so in last class we discussed about the standard right so you can now uh, you know recall the speed of uh, this standard speed and many more things so my ap is working on 5 gigahertz and the standard is 8.2 sorry 802.11 ac fine now let's move move further hope difference between 2.4 giga and 5 giga is clear now guys frequency range see one more difference i want to tell you here like in 2.4 gigahertz in 2.4 gigahertz you have one more advantage right this signal signal of 2.4 gigahertz can cross the wall let's say in your home that three rooms right that three rooms okay this is room 1 room 2 room 3 guys in room 1 you have one ap here you have one ap access point right and you want to use internet from room 2 also from the room 3 also no problem you can access the internet because you are connected to internet through your ap and as this ap is working on 2.4 gigahertz it can cross the wall it can cross the wall right but if my this ap is working on 5 gigahertz right it cannot cross the wall maybe you will not get signal in room 2 and in room 3 so it's totally depends on our requirement it's totally depends on our requirement where i should use 2.4 gigahertz where i should use 5 gigahertz in 5 gigahertz also you can connect with ap from the room 2 and room 3 also but you will get you will have weak connection as compared to 2.4 gigahertz right you will have weak connect weak connection fine but if you are using your if you have configured your ap to work on 2.4 gigahertz then maybe you will get a strong connection okay so this is the another difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz now guys if you want to know the you know difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz in term of speed you can read this paragraph right this is the first point in first point we discussed what about the range okay so now let's move further here you can see first point is frequency range so this point is going to tell you the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz in term of range okay so 2.5 gigahertz this frequency band has longer wavelength and in last class what we discussed if wavelength is longer than frequency is going to be what less because frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength okay so here frequency is 2.4 gigahertz means longer wavelength which results in better penetration through walls and obstacles right it can easily cross the the signal of 2.4 gigahertz can easily cross the wall however it is a more crowded frequency range due to the pergence of various devices like microwaves bluetooth devices and other wifi network now in the same way you can read about 5 gigahertz like you can see in 5 gigahertz we have you have shorter wavelength means high frequency correct now guys the second point the second difference difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz in term of speed right 
so in term of speed tell me 2.4 and 5 which frequency is going to provide you higher speed 5 giga right so you can see 2.4 gigahertz while widely used the 2.5 gigahertz band is limited in term of available bandwidth this can result in lower data rate especially in environments with numerous devices uh, competing to the same frequency and if i will talk about the 5 gigahertz frequency so you can see the 5 gigahertz frequency band typically provide high data rate speed due to the availability of wider channels and less interference fine okay so the second difference is in term of a speed so 2.4 gigahertz is going to provide you less speed 5 gigahertz is going to provide you more speed right means high data rate slow data rate okay so 2.4 gigahertz so slow data rate 5 gigahertz high data rate then the third difference is in term of interference right so if you are confusing with guys terms like interference like what is interference interference is something like overlapping fourth difference is in term of range right again it is talking about the now it is talking about the range right so 2.4 gigahertz is going to provide you better range better range means better coverage right making it more suitable for large area or place with obstacle like wall like walls but 5 gigahertz shorter range it is going to provide you shorter range as compared to 2.4 gigahertz make it more suitable for a smaller area but with the potential for high data rate in close proximately fine the fifth difference in term of what device capability in term of device capability also you can read the difference 2.4 gigahertz compatible with the wider range of devices including older wi-fi standard right most devices even old ones support 2.4 gigahertz so this is much better right in the term of compatibility as compared to 5 gigahertz but some older devices may not support 5 gigahertz as it is a relatively newer addition to wi-fi standard fine now the choice between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz now if uh, you are thinking that to profile i should use 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz frequency right so see that it depends on your requirement the choice between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz depends on factors such as a specific use case range requirements as i told you range requirements is very important right and the level of interference in the environment many dual band band routers allow users to utilize both frequency band for optimal performance and based on their needs so which frequency is going to be best for you is going to be good for you it depends on the requirement right f for the shorter range 5 gigahertz is best right for the larger range means area 2.4 gigahertz is best for the higher speed 5 gigahertz is best right because 2.4 gigahertz is going to provide you less data rate as compared to 5 gigahertz okay so hope now this point is clear guys the difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz is clear to you now let's move what is interference so here you can read about the interference interference means when unwanted signals disrupt the communication between devices unwanted signal right this can result from overlapping frequencies environmental factors or other electronics devices imitating signal in the same frequency range interference can decrease signal quality right if there is interference this is overlapping it is going to decrease the signal quality guys it is going to decrease the speed slower data rates or even complete loss of connectivity because of interference or overlapping you can disconnect from the ap right now the technique like frequency hopping speed spectrum modulation and proper channel planning are employed to mitigate interference in wireless networks right
so this is the reason why you are learning wireless networking guys so that you can set up the network in such a way the in such a way so that uh, two devices cannot overlap two devices cannot transmit signals on same frequency right because if two devices is going to send for, you know signal on same frequency in an area in a specific area then definitely there will be interference there will be overlapping and it can decrease the speed it can decrease the signal quality or it can completely disconnect the device right even completely loss of connectivity let's assume you need to connect two ap together ap1 let's say and this one is ap2 access point 2 so if you want to connect these two ap together let's say you are going to place these uh, two ap on a floor or in a big hall doesn't matter you are going to place it right let's say you are a wireless network engineer and you you are going to set up a set up multiple ap's in a building so you have to configure you have to setting up these two ap in such a way so that these two ap should not overlap with each other or you can say these ap should not interfere with each other right so we are going to understand the channels guys like what what channel should be configured on the ap so that these two cannot overlap with each other okay guys then that's all for today in next class we are going to understand channels what are the channels in 2.4 gigahertz what are the channels in 5 gigahertz what are the non overlapping channels in 2.4 gigahertz and in 5 gigahertz so if you have learned something from this video guys please hit on like button if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe this channel and let's meet in the next video and if you have learned something in this video then please let me know in the comment section just type yes